Up next, what you can do at home to support the frontline ministries in Northern Iraq. Prayer works, it's not just a cliche. So be fervent in your prayers. Welcome back. After watching this program, you may wonder, what can I do and how can I pray? Here's some insight from Ministries on the Ground about how you can intercede about the situation in Northern Iraq and the Middle East. You really gotta understand that prayer works. It's not just a cliche. So be fervent in your prayers. Victor Marx believed prayer makes a difference. That vehicle right there, uh, that, that's one of our armored vehicles. And I'm telling you right now, that thing has taken RPG shots from like 30 meters away that's missed and been right in the middle of fire. And there's not one round hit on it. And that's because of the power of prayer. Really, Christians okay. at home must pray. So what do Christians serving here want people at home to pray? Dave Eubank leads a team on the front lines, offering medical and humanitarian aid. That ISIS will be quickly defeated, that to me, all peoples will be free. Kurdistan, I think, should have its own place. And that the Shia and the Sunni and others will, and the Christians, will learn how to live together. Not learn, this is the power of God. We need that. It's not a learning issue. It's a heart issue and a spiritual issue. I think those are the main things to pray for. CBN News joined Sister Diana in the Christian town of Karakosh, devastated by ISIS. She wants prayer for those suffering across northern Iraq. I pray that people will have passion toward their mm -hmm. brothers and sisters who are suffering here, to help them, to pray that God will send people to support us to rebuild all this. This is mm -hmm. going to need some support. And to hold us in their daily prayers so God will give us the strength and to continue our faith. This battle goes beyond soldiers and fighters. It's real moms with babies and children. It's husbands who've been killed. It's, it's men who no longer have work or they've been diminished to such place of, you know, shame and guilt. Dalton Thomas leads a ministry supporting the Kurdish military and relief aid. When I pray for Kurdistan, I pray the yeah. same things over oh, and over leave again. The Lord, I pray, give the leaders geopolitically wisdom to pour water on the fire and not gasoline. And I pray Colossians 4, Lord, open up a door for the gospel to be proclaimed as it ought to be proclaimed here. And those are my two prayers. Lord, restrain the advance of the hands of wicked men and open up a door for the, the good, the good news of the gospel to go forth because this place needs good news and it's been ravaged by bad news for far too long. Thomas and others believe a worldwide war room of prayer will make a difference on the front lines. Well, I hope you'll be able to pray for the situation and for the millions of people affected by this crisis, including Abdul and Mahmoud, who just came from the city of Mosul.